In this explainer, I answer the question, what is a categorical syllogism? A categorical syllogism is an argument consisting of three categorical propositions. Here are some examples. All cows are mammals, all mammals are animals, so all cows are mammals. Some animals are mammals, all cows are mammals, some animals are cows. No cows are reptiles, no reptiles are mammals, no cows are mammals, and all toads are reptiles, no cows are toads, so no cows are reptiles. Each syllogism consists of two premises and a conclusion. Each of the premises and the conclusion is a categorical proposition. Remember, a categorical proposition is a statement consisting of the following elements. Quantity, quality, a noun or noun phrase, and a copula. If you want a more detailed explanation of the categorical proposition, please see the video, What is a Categorical Proposition? The categorical proposition affirms or denies that at least one or all members of the subject category are members of the predicate category. Now, let's talk about standard form for the categorical syllogism. Remember, a categorical syllogism is a three proposition argument. More specifically, a categorical syllogism is an argument consisting of three categorical propositions. When these sentences are arranged in standard form for the categorical syllogism, we have a categorical syllogism in standard form. So we have the major premise, the minor premise, and then the conclusion. This is the order in which these elements appear. For a more detailed discussion of the major premise and the major term, the minor premise and the minor term, please see the videos, what are the terms of a syllogism and what are the major and minor premises in a categorical syllogism. Let's take a look at an argument. All cows are mammals, all mammals are animals, so all cows are mammals. To put the argument in standard form, we look to the conclusion and we find the minor term and the major term. And then we look to see which of the two sentences that are the premises contain each of those terms. And then we organize those premises accordingly so that we end up with all mammals are animals, all cows are mammals, and all cows are, man are animals. And as you can see in the standard form version on the right side with just the letters M, P, and S, you've got the major, minor, and middle terms articulated, and the order is standard form. Here are a couple more things to think about when you're thinking about the categorical syllogism. One is, there are 256 permutations of the categorical syllogism. Each syllogism is a combination of one, two, or three proposition types. That is, a syllogism is either three iterations of an A proposition, an E proposition, an I proposition, or an O proposition, or some combination thereof. Remember, the A proposition is the universal affirmative, the E proposition is the universal negative, the I proposition is the particular affirmative, and the O proposition is the particular negative. Finally, some categorical syllogisms are valid, some are not. For discussions of validity and methods of testing an argument for validity and methods of testing a categorical syllogism for validity, please see the relevant videos in this playlist.